went to college in IT Carlo um, and I did sports science as my undergrad. Um, so I used to work in strength and conditioning with Gaelic football teams and soccer teams and stuff like that. Um, for working with groups of men, um, being one on one sometimes and being in groups, it became really interested in how men engage in their health or maybe don't. Um, and from there, it led me on to study men's health research master. So I focused on um, suicide prevention amongst middle-aged men, so it was groups that were at risk of marginalisation, so transgender men, gay men, traveller men, stuff like that. Um, so I launched a report um, in Ireland, which was the Middle-Aged Men and Suicide in Ireland report, um, and we're developing a number of resources now based off of um, what came out of that report. Uh, so SPARC's funded by uh, the European Union uh, under the Marie Curie Co-Fund initiative. So basically what's unique about SPARC, it's more of a cohort type initiative. So we do our own work, but we also do training together in a group of maybe 20 or so. And so the, there's a real focus on leadership within, within the SPARC. Um, so we do a lot of training on personality types, leadership type. There's a focus on what they call Tree I initiative, which is what really appealed to me as to why I applied for SPARC. So the three I stand for internationalisation, um, intersectorial and interdisciplinary. So the interdisciplinary aspect of, of it was you had to work in two different areas. So for me it was men's health and arts based initiatives. And so in addition to the Spark Fund, and, um, the reason I came to Queen's is it has a really good reputation for research. Uh, in addition to the research, I also put a lot of emphasis on impact. So that's really important to me. So in addition to writing papers, I really like to see where where that going and how research translates into practice. So because there's such a focus on that, um, it really appealed to me to come to Queen's. There was a strong men's health research culture in Queen's in the School of Nursing was another reason. And the graduate school, which is a big selling point for me, like in addition to the extra training we get on leadership and interdisciplinary working, uh, which are wraparound services of sorts. You have the option to kind of to shape the kind of person you want to be through the training that's available in the graduate schools. I, ideally, I would like to remain in academia, and um, so probably a postdoctoral position would be next for me. I'd really like to get into the education side of, of academia, so I'd like to lecture. Um, but I'd also, if possible, ha like to have a dual role with policy development, with men's health, with working in the health service, with something like that. I definitely recommend Queen's uh, for anyone that's thinking about doing a PhD. Um, there's so many helpful resources, even when you're applying. The likes of graduate school, then you have your supervisors, you have the other PhD students in your area, not in your area, you have your, your school. So I feel like there's just a lot of resources there, and it's really kind of empowering in a sense. Thank you.